We're going to interview Zoom. Might have dropped touch. Nice one on that repeller kitchen. Sub the. Yo, the other one walked in kitchen, the other one was on repeller kitchen. What's up guys, Senville here, and today we're going to be doing an operator guide on how to play Frost. We're gonna be talking all about Frost's loadout, utility, how to actually place your Frost mats, where to place them, how to most effectively play Frost, secure your trap kills, and how to just overall excel and rank up while playing Frost. Let's get to it. So really quick, the loadout. The loadout is pretty straightforward for Frost. Honestly, it looks a little complicated from this, but very simple actually. So you have the Super 90 and the 9, mm c1 so honestly there is no point in using the super 90 unless you're kind of being a little bit of a latrol you can use this if you want it's not a bad like full auto shotgun but uh, sorry semi-auto shotgun but uh this is just your bread and butter while playing frost i run an extended barrel vertical grip you can run a vertical grip or an angled up to you and a 1.5 scope it has a 1.5 scope it's a very stable gun it does a lot of damage the only downside is fire rate is a little slow but there's no recoil on this it is insane gun you guys all demonstrate it later and then you have pistol or secondary shotgun secondary shotgun all day honestly because you need this to make rotates when you're playing frost you are usually fitting the place of like a shield player like smoke you're you're taking the place of an architect so you are frost you're making rotates you're making line of sight you're making whatever you got to and this is going to be your bread and butter to do that so you're gonna need the shotgun and then you have a shield or bulletproof most of the time you're gonna bring a shield you're probably going to be one of the only people on your team that are probably going to have a shield so probably run that if there are multiple shields you're not really sure where to place a shield bulletproof's not necessarily a bad option all right so here's chalet so this is the gun i mean very stable gun very easy to keep in a straight line even with an extended barrel i mean really good gun pre-fire I mean, even if you don't get a headshot, body shots, I mean, 45 damage. It does a lot of damage. You can take people out real quick. All right, so now, utility, the bear trap. Enemy steps in this bear trap. Very simple and straightforward. They step in the bear trap. They go down. Uh, their teammates will be able to revive them, or you'll be able to run over to them and finish them off. So, how do the attackers deal with this? Well, I mean... They can just shoot it. But I want to demonstrate a very specific way that a lot of times your frost mats are going to be deployed. Normally next to windows, like so. So here is a really good spot for frost mat because the attacker will jump in unexpectedly and they'll jump in, hit the frost mat and go down just like that. How did attackers deal with that? Well, they just jump in, shoot straight down and they're good. But while they do that, they have to jump in like so look straight down and if you're let's say you're on frost and i'm right here and they jump in and shoot my frost mat i just kill them if they jump in look at me they might be able to kill me but they're going to be down instantly the, the second their feet hit the floor and they hit the bear trap so bear traps extremely effective to stop people crash walking in jumping in windows so here's another spot i would like to put a bear mat I like spots like this because as an attacker, I'm coming up the staircase. Most of the time, attackers are going to be looking up the staircase. I'm going to check the landing, but then they're going to walk up. Boom. Bear trap goes down. It's really hard to see it from this level. You can't really see it. You have to kind of know it's there and like, all right. So I'll either place them like A on a window, B like on a staircase like that. I'd, I'd place one right there too. That's a good entry spot for attackers. Or in a blind spot where attackers might walk into it so here's another spot like i might want to place one let's talk about that so pushing in you're like gun up gun up you can't really see the frost map from where you're at but when you come in it's going to be in where you walk in like i'm gonna walk into the bear trap without really realizing in a blind spot so when you're using the frost mats, think one of three things on a window where they have to jump into it physically b what well, i guess number two on a staircase landing where they can't quite really see 
where it's going to be at or three in a blind spot that someone might accidentally walk into it but let's say i place one here as well that's a good spot let's say they're uh, coming from trophy or west main they're pushing over like this a lot of people will kind of walk like this and they'd be down if you get a down on a frostbite it'll make a very loud audible like bear trap sound and you don't get a signal that they are actually physically down but if you hear it then you can come finish them off if even if you don't pick them finish them off if their teammates pick them up they will only have 20 health so it is really good it was a really good way at slowing people down especially with the trap meta which we are going to be covering a lot of the trap ops in the near future the lesion the capkin the frost now uh, maybe some thorn too so frost is a key part of all of that so a normal round is frost i will be focused i'm not going to be looking for drones at all i'm going to be focused primarily on my frost mats as well as making rotates that we need or lines of sight we also have a shield so if there's another sh shotgun player it will be awesome to like get them to help you because you do have a lot of setup as frost so you have to be quick with this you can't be going afk during prep and i'm placing a frost right here maybe one right there for the hop-ins and then uh i'd probably place one personally i'd probably place one like right there and then try to hold like near library maybe shotgun some of this boom reinforce this wall boom and then that would be my setup and for shields i'd i'd probably place a shield like probably like here uh, let me actually dodge that probably like here Hold staircase As long as I can Don't necessarily need to play over here. Hell I can place that shield on top of the piano. No big problem Frost can function as a roamer Soft anchor hard anchor. You can do whatever you need to But you have a shotgun make sure you use it because not that many operators will have a shotgun to make rotates and lines of sight you will and you'll probably already be near the site anyways because you're already placing your frost mess around all right guys now we're going to go through a couple clips of me playing as frost uh, in fpl with pros and yell players so basically when i'm playing frost i'm playing near the site most of the time i'm being aggressive really trying to take full advantage of my gun while trying to hold the site making any lines of sight that i need like i put it in the floor i opened up the wall another opening open up the trophy hop in so i'm waiting to see what's going on here so i'm just kind of keeping my gun up waiting for people to come through staying active not just sitting on my cam or just staring at one angle i'm looking around trying to keep all accounts of everything around me Guy jumps in, we take him out. I hear a call that one is in West Main. So remember, this gun is a beast. So don't be afraid to shoot where you think the enemy might be. Because you never know what shot you're going to hit. Yep. All right, now we're going to break down the clip you guys saw at the start of the video. So we're going to talk about it as we go through what was running through my head in this situation because a lot of times you guys are going to be left in a situation like a 1v5 1v4 1vx or whatever whatever it's going to be and i'm going to tell you guys how to come out on top especially while playing frost so frost especially when i'm down man count i'm going to pre-fire my ass off especially to just get that first guy to get everybody kind of panicking Refiring like crazy to take out that, that first guy i listen behind me i don't hear anybody quite right behind me so it's like instantly i try to run into the hallway to try to catch someone that might be trying to run in on me you catch one and the biggest thing about while you're in a 1vx situation 1vx is 1v however many is get one kill one and move because they're going to call out your exact position you don't want them to know exactly where you're at so i kill him there instead of running back into site where they know i'm going to be i try to be a little bit more more slick and kind of rotate around to try to catch them Another one off guard that might be coming through that cafe area. And we do, we had no idea what was there. We take him out. And now it's a 1v2. Again, there's probably someone where that jackal was. And there's obviously another one in there with nomads already all the way through that room like that. So I start to look over here. I get shot in the back. So I know there's one at the cafe side. 
but I knew I heard there was one on Repel, so I figured it was a guy that was on Repel still. So I'm like, okay, there is one walking in. I get a call that he's walking into cafe. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna run into the hallway. Well, once on Repel, mag dumping. So I know I can rotate around. Take this guy out because the guy on Repel is reloading. So we take that guy out. And this guy's still in the window. And like I said, this gun is a beast. Take him out. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for how to play Frost. So again, as your role is Frost, you can play however you want. Honestly, I play, I tend to play a very soft roamer kind of position, basically being a room or two away from the site while playing aggressive wherever I need to be, because this gun is great. I like to really take full advantage of having this gun, especially with the 1.5 scope. Pre-fire as much as possible. You have 35 shots. It shoots really slow, so you can really pre-fire out. And if you're hitting them anywhere, they are going down pretty quickly, especially because attackers aren't really going to have your position down to a T. So you can pre fire where the attackers are going to come from. And if it hits them anywhere, they're taking a lot of damage. Uh, when you're setting up, really make sure that you're making lines of sight and rotates that your team is going to need. Don't be AFK and prep. You are going to be one of the, the operators, if not probably only the operator most of the time on the defense that is going to be able to make lines of sight and rotates and whatever you need for different maps like clubhouse i mean you need a lot of lines of sight like in the garage you need the rotates it's i mean there's not gonna be that many ops that are going to be able to make the rotates other than like an op like smoke or whatever be quick with your frost mats don't place your frost mats too my biggest suggestion on how to use the frost mats is don't place them too early in prep because they will drone them out most of the time um, place them like start shocking rotates and lines of sight and then start placing your frost mats around so they don't quite know where they're all at and after you place a frost mat there don't place the same frost mat every single round in the same spot chances are it probably won't work a second or a third time so mix it up get it put them on different windows put them in different doors because honestly the biggest thing about frost mats is that it slows attackers down if they know they have a frost they know they have a capkin etc the attackers are going to be a lot slower and not going to catch you quite off guard. They know they have to kind of take their time and kind of look their, look around to make sure. And that's going to waste a lot of their time, giving you more time to win the round. So, all right, guys, this is Frost. We're going to be doing more operator guides very soon on other trap ops. I want to do a lot of the trap ops, mostly because uh, it's year eight. I want to try to get newer players into Siege and... Honestly, I want you to use these guides to just kind of give you a jump up on how this operator functions and how you can overall excel while playing this up. So, all right, guys, until next time, subscribe, drop a comment, leave a like for more. Peace out.